Welcome back to the Payne's Creek Killings. Alright, I've come back with some fresh ideas of what to do thanks to all the viewers that commented, so thank you very much for your help. Feel free to keep commenting on anything you think I might have missed, by the way. So, one of the things that I apparently missed, well, one thing is just something I don't know yet, which is apparently there are more than four chess pieces. If you remember, I found two chess pieces here, two out in the uh, cabin back there. And I tried having them in random combinations to use on this uh, study desk lock here at Charles's place. And it turns out there's more than four, and there's only four digits to this lock. So I guess it's a matter of finding all of them, however many there are, and also knowing the order. And the order is apparently on the lock itself, if you look really closely. Ah... Thank you for that hint. That is so hard to see. Unless you crouch down, you are not going to see that. Yep, so that'd be king, queen, bishop, and... Or, uh... I guess knight? Knight, queen, bishop? Something like that. Have I found those? Better question is, can I identify the chess pieces? Well, the answer is I don't know what they are exactly, so I had to Google it. But anyway, I looked it up and wrote them down. So we've got a knight with five, we have a pawn with a two on it, a rook with a seven, and what I'm pretty sure is a queen with a one on it. So considering all of that, if we look at what we have to work with here, it depends on what these two Ks mean. They might both mean knight, so it might just be the five on the knight repeated, or one of them could be a knight and one could be a king that I just have yet to find. But, assuming they're both knights, we have both the Ks, and we have the Q with a queen, so the only one we're actually missing is the B. The, uh, the bishop? Yeah, the bishop. So we don't have that, but if it's just one number, then we can absolutely find that. So, let's try it. So let's see, the first and last are going to be the five, the second one is going to be one. So five, one, five. I'll start this one at zero, and we'll just cycle through all of them. Okay, none of them work. So the K's probably one of them, or maybe even both of them, probably refer to a king. I guess it wouldn't take forever to find it. Nah, no, there'd be too many combinations. It's not worth it. I'll just wait till I find more chess pieces. Okay, so taking a look back at our notes... Um, I guess I don't need this note anymore, so these blue ones are the comments that I need to follow up on, so I don't think we need that anymore. I can remember that there's more than four chess pieces. We've got a couple for in the hospital, but the most important ones are that apparently I need to go look at Trisha's room again. Uh, I think there might be the key to Oliver's photography. So, let's go take a look. Alright, let's give Trisha's room a very good look over. Actually, there's no dartboards on the back of the door. Someone said that it looked like I didn't open the drawer beneath this. Indeed! Indeed I didn't! Wow! Well, I know exactly what to use that for. This must have belonged to Scott. That goes in the bottom of the cabin. Please hold on to this. Someday I will tell you everything. Scott. So is that where Scott kept all the most secret of files? May 22nd, 1994. Mom is so judgmental. She doesn't want me to be near Scott, saying that I should find someone who's of the same class as me. What does that even mean? Who determines what class Scott is in? Did Mom talk to Father Matthew? Is that why Father Matthew forbids us from seeing each other? Don't they know we are in love? July 24th. Last night, Scott and Father Matthew had a big fight. Father Matthew told him to stop seeing me again. I asked Scott why, but he didn't know the reason. I feel so miserable. October 10th. Scott asked if I had a younger brother named Vincent. I didn't. He told me that it was probably a fake rumor, but wanted to be sure about it. Who would spread such a rumor about my family? 
Okay, so it's kind of found out about the whole Vincent thing. So yeah, still, still 99% sure that Vincent was just renamed Scott. October 11th. At dinner, I asked mom if I ever had a younger brother named Vincent. She stared at me and said no. She then asked where I got the name from. When I said from Scott, she told me dinner's over. I argued with her. She yelled and sent me to my room. Later, I heard her arguing with dad. October 26th. How could mom fire Scott? That is so unreasonable. There's no reason at all for firing him. And why can't I see Scott anymore? I love Scott. Dad loves him too. Only mom hates him and I don't even know why. November 22nd. I find it really strange. I know that today is Scott's day off, so I tried to surprise him at the cabin. However, I could not find him. I searched everywhere, in and out of the cabin. He was nowhere to be found. Just as I was about to leave, he suddenly appeared as if he had been in the cabin this whole time. This happened several times already. I wonder if there's a hidden room in the cabin which I didn't know about. Oh, well that bodes well. That means I don't just have... I don't just have this metal cross that I can use in the basement that I, I just assumed it would just open up some secret compartment, but it looks like it actually is, opens up an entire room. That bodes well. So one of the notes that I was given is that uh, Oliver's photography key is in the bedroom of the person who used to clean it. The only problem is I don't remember he used to clean it, except uh, I'm pretty sure it was Trisha because I remember thinking that I would find the key to Oliver's photography with Trisha for some reason, but I don't exactly remember why. But assuming it is with Trisha and in the bedroom, then I guess that means it must be inside of this music box, right? That's the only thing that's not unlocked here. Actually, is this even a music box? Maybe it isn't. But anyway. I'm going to look a little bit more in here, make sure I'm not missing anything. And then when I come back, I'm going to be at the cabin. We have arrived. Is this activated or something? <laughs> All right, Scott, what if we... Oh, wow. Oh, wow, Scott went full detective. All right. Let's dig in. My God. <laughs> what a terrible light. This game's so dark. so long since I've seen a key. An old gate key. Huh. An old gate. I can think of two places that could be for. Off the top of my head. There is a gate at the back of the mansion, actually. And... There's also the gate for the second part of the cemetery? Oh, another key! Yes! This one also looks really old, like a gate key or something, but no note. Uh, sewers. Oh, no. Old sewer and- Don't fucking tell me I'm gonna go into the goddamn sewers and encounter it and get my arm bitten off and float. I don't want to float. 
This feels just like it, doesn't it? Some young kid who isn't nearly as young as the kids in it, but still, some young kid <laughs> mapping out the sewers. <laughs> Fuck. So is this map stored now? Yes, it is. Okay. So the key was found next to this map. So I'm assuming that's the key to the sewers. Old sewer entrance, maybe? Let's look at this more fully. Um, I think this is... This is... These are probably marking those places that I saw a while ago. Where I realized you can, like, pull up the storm drains if I had a wrench or something. I think that's what these are, probably. I'm not sure what these lines and these X's mean. I guess it terminates here or something. Not sure what those are. But that's old sewer entrance. Hmm. Robert's estate security tapes. Is that why the security tape went missing? Did Scott steal it? Oh god, there's a lot of information here. This is a jackpot. I found out who killed my mother. Why couldn't you finish that paper, Scott? Well, actually, we know who killed Sophia. That has nothing to do with Vivian, exactly. Understanding psychology. Is this the one? No, guess not. Okay, whew. let's take a second. Start from the top, make sure I don't miss anything. All right, let's take a look at this. Who killed my mother? Magdalene couldn't be her. She tried to find Sophia. Yep. Charles. He's my father? Mm-hmm. Vivian. Bernard. Father Calvin. He saved me. Couldn't be him. Matthew. In Indonesia at that time. Andrew. Wanda. Derek. He's six years old at that time. I mean, he could still murder somebody. <laughs> Dr. Johnson. Killed Magdalen. Eh, well, sorta. I think you got that sorta right, Scott. I mean, Dr. Johnson did provide the medicine, but... Like, you know, the overdose, I guess. Of medicine. But... Wasn't it Vivian that gave it to Magdalen? So I'd say both Vivian and Dr. Johnson killed Magdalen. Dorothy, she lived and took care of Sophia when she was pregnant. Mm-hmm. Trisha. Alright, let's see. So there's the old sewer entrance marked again, but this is a different map. Right? Wait, these are different, right? This is the actual sewers itself, right? Which kind of follow the map, I guess, a little bit. Sorta. Kinda. <laughs> but they're a bit different. Yeah, so the old sewer entrance is right there. I should take a picture of this. Birdhouse. Birdhouse? There's a couple birdhouses over by the red box, but I thought I looked at them and didn't find anything. I wonder if the birdhouse is just a signifier for how to find the red box. I don't know if- I, I doubt Scott got into Father Matthew's box, or maybe... I don't know. Anyway, I'll follow up on that later. Derek and Wanda's house. Time capsule. Mm-hmm. Andrew's house, already been there. Bernard's house, already been there. Dorothy's house, already been there. So we visited every place on here except the old sewer entrance. I 
I mean, I guess it's true, we don't actually know exactly who killed Sophia. I mean, we know it was either Andrew, Vivian, or was it Dr. Johnson? That was also there at the time? And, and this is from Andrew's report. Let's actually go here. Let's filter for Andrew, I guess. Uh, here we go. June 26, blah blah blah. At 11 p.m., Vivian, Dr. Johnson, and Andrew confronted Sophia about leaving Payne's Creek. A fight broke out, and Sophia died. So, yeah, that doesn't specify exactly who killed Sophia. It just says a fight broke out, and Sophia died. It's very not specific. I would bet on Vivian, though. February 13th, 1995. The moment I saw the photo, I realized who I am because I have the same blanket. I know who my father is. Everything makes sense now. March 7th, 1995. I visited Andrew today. I needed to know where they hid mom's body, but he cried out and begged me not to say anything about it anymore. There was no room for talking. I then told him I'm the boy he gave to Father Calvin to get rid of. He was utterly shocked. After that, I left. I could not bear to look at him for another second. I know who I am, but I feel everything is falling apart. April 3rd. Andrew came to the cabin and told me where the body was hidden. He said he was sorry and left. Externally, I was quiet. Inside, I was exploding. After he left, I went to my room and cried. Well, I think we can surmise from this. Based on the fact that Scott was told where the body was, and he seems to be searching the sewers, that the body is probably somewhere in the sewers. Oh, goes on to talk about it, I think. April 4th, the day after. The well had dried up and overgrown with seeds. I wouldn't have known that the well even existed if I didn't work at the mansion. There's a well at the mansion? I finally found mom's body. Oh, God. I buried her in the cemetery next to Father Calvin. There was no tombstone for her, just a wooden cross. I don't think Father Calvin would mind. After all, he was the one who saved me. Huh. I guess... That makes a lot of sense. For some reason, I think when I originally learned that that wooden, like, wooden headstone cross in the cemetery was for Sophia, I think I just assumed it was symbolic and that Sophia's body wasn't actually there, but apparently it was. Scott found it and took it there. Yeah, so there's a well somewhere on the mansion property. Overgrown with seeds. Maybe that's next to the cabin in the back, and that's where the key maybe goes to. One of the old gates that I mentioned. May 3rd. A month has passed. I haven't worked since and have stopped meeting anyone. Trisha knocks on my door every day, but I would hide in the basement. She cried every time she's here, asking why I wouldn't see her and if she has done anything wrong. I don't know what to say to her, but I know we cannot be together anymore. May 13th. Father Matthew visited me today, saying he hasn't seen me in church for a while, and no one's heard from me for weeks. When he asked how I was doing, tears just flowed down my cheeks. I cried and cried. I could not stop crying. I told him everything. I told him I know that Charles is my father now. I told him I know that Trisha is my half-sister, and I don't know what to do now. Another key! Oh, jackpot. Looks like a music box key is attached to it! Oh yes. That deserves a to-do. Actually, I should probably make multiple to-dos. I have a 
key for a music box in Trisha's room. I don't think there's any need to tag that. I have old sewer key? I think. And I have a key for an old gate. Probably the one at the back of the mansion. There's a pattern on the baby's blanket. So that must be the blanket that Scott mentioned seeing that blanket and the baby. Realizing that that's the blanket he has that we found back in his chest on his bed. Yeah, I'm surprised with all the security tape stuff. I can't actually play any security tapes. Oh well. Okay, I think that's it for this place. That was incredibly productive. Yeah, that was the big thing that I was missing, so thanks everybody for the hints. Of course, there's still some other hints for some stuff I missed in the hospital, but I think I'll save that for when I end up going back to the hospital. For now, I think I'm going to head to that music box. Dear Trisha, as I come to know about my birth parents, I realize everything. Now I understood why Father Matthew was against us seeing each other. He was right. We should not be together. Please believe me when I say I did not kill your mother. I have never lied to you and I never will. I don't know who killed Vivian. Hopefully the truth will come to light someday. There's so much that I want to tell you, but I cannot at this moment. I pray the day when I can express everything to you, will come quickly. All I can say now is that I am sorry for all the pain that I've caused you. Please forgive me. Sincerely, Scott. So he did manage to get a message to Trisha at some point. Good. Unfortunately, no key. So that means Trisha was not the one who cleaned... Oliver's place? Who cleaned Oliver's photography? If I had to guess, I would say it's maybe Dorothy? I'm not sure. I'll have to go read through some documents. But anyway, we have keys, which means we have leads. Let's head to the back of the mansion. Alright, let's see if the old gate key is for this gate. Yes! Speaking of, before I go too far, I should probably get rid of some of these. So, done with the music box. This one was true. Search Trisha's room, done. Okay. So much room back here. Suspicious. Trail. too tall. <laughs> oh, that's the well, and it's open. Is that a rope? Oh, 
God, no, I can go down. Ugh. Okay then. Here we go. Oh, fuck me. There's an actual, like, going down sequence. I don't like this. This is, like, setting me up for jump scares. Oh, there's no actual entrance or anything down here. Just something on the ground. Like, it doesn't lead anywhere. Oh five two six. What could that be the password to? Uh. Oh, let me write that down. Five two six. Password found on a pendant in well Pine Mansion. I have a little bit of a fear here, and that's that as I'm crawling up, someone's gonna like close that over my head and I'll be trapped down here or something. Uh, um, we have problems, folks. I can't move. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna try to press absolutely nothing until I can move my view. Maybe that will... There we go. Okay. Please, no jump scares. Please know Sophia. Mm. Mm. Okay. Safe for now. Yeah, so I was taking a look through some of the pictures, trying to see if I could find anybody wearing that pendant, that necklace, and I don't see anybody in my pictures. I'm not sure. Whose would that be? Well, I think I'm going to use my next key next. My last key, sadly. So it looks like the entrance to the old wells is here. I'm not sure if I've gone through here on camera, but I've traveled this a lot off camera. It's kind of like a shortcut. That allows you to get to and from the mansion. If you look at the Paints Creek map, it's this little area here. So instead of having to go on... Or, no. Oh, sorry, it's not there. It's, like, here. So instead of having to go, like, all the way around here and then down this street, you can just go, like, straight here. Very handy. And yeah, while I was traveling to the mansion, I just happened to look over here and realized, oh, there it is. Be down here. <laughs> Can tell you that right now. Oh fuck me, this music. Oh god. Ugh. Well. Oh Christ! I almost wish they were locked. Do they all open? Thank God. Well, let's take a look at that sewer map and kind of get our bearings. So, we're here, I guess? Are we? 
So the entrance, and then we come to a T. That. Uh, I don't see a T here. That's not a. I mean, it splits, but it's not splitting into a T. Um, I'm gonna say forget the map. Isn't that locked with this latch here? Can't I take it off? Huh. Alright, well, let's... The top has been sealed shut. Indeed. It's moody. I like it. That's gotta be something we can see on the map, right? Like where it diverts, would that be this? I don't know. Doesn't really matter, I guess. a lot of baseball bats down here or whatever these are rebar I don't know We gotta go back to where it diverted and go the other way.
coming out at? Wait, what? Oh! Am I in the basement of the hospital? To Paints Creek Community Hospital. So I just went here. I don't recognize this, so this must be the basement, right? So now I can turn on the power. Oh, hallelujah. This is new, right? Storage. Yeah. There we go. Haha. <laughs> Okay, well I think I'm going to save the exploration of the basement for the next episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.